Okay, here we go, we're live. Um, for my subscribers that are usually here for my dance videos and this and that, ignore this. This is for my Hot Wheel collectors and Hot Wheel homies. <laughs> so we're doing something a little fun right now. I'm a big Hot Wheel collector. And I have a case full of these, uh, that's my phone. Uh, I have a case full of these Hot Wheel mystery machines. I've got like, tons of them I've been opening here. And uh, as you can see, I've been opening them up here. So I'm just going to show you some of the cool mystery cars that I've uh, opened up that came out of here. And these are from like 2006. Very old. Let me double check. Uh, it was 2000. Yeah, so 2007 they came out. So one of my favorites and what they also stopped making because they don't make Ferraris no more. It's this nice Ferrari right here. This is the Ferrari, what model? F430 Challenger. So the only way to get this particular Hot Wheel, you had to have been able to get it out of the mystery, mystery box. And what I do is I use this, I've been doing this since the mid 1990s, before YouTube, so I didn't learn nothing off YouTube. This is what I've done for a long time. I, oh wow, I just noticed the words are backwards, <laughs> but it's nail polish. And I just, what I do, I just dip in here, rub it on the back. And what's cool about it, it doesn't mess up. It doesn't mess up the, uh, the card at all, so I can reseal it. So if I choose that I don't like the car, I can put it back in a package and re-glue it. That way, after going through all these mystery cars, I can keep the ones I like and resell the other ones. Actually, you know what? I do pretty good. I make some money off because I do these uh, shows. I let that sit for like two minutes. So it doesn't take very long. But uh, meanwhile, I'll show you the other cars that I... Uh, Came, came out here that was real nice. This T-Bird is real nice. See this uh, nice orange classic uh, T-Bird. Um, this original mold was in 1977. And they gave it that old 70s Hot Wheel classic look. And the only way to get it was coming from one of these packages. There's another nice one. I like this green on it. Should be fast on the track. But the ultimate favorite here, I only found one out of all these boxes. I'm still opening, hoping to find another. Is this nice purple VW convertible? And my camera sucks. Sorry. Uh, it's an old Logitech camera. But another rare one, and there's only one out of all these cars. You can see I have a lot of doubles. All these guys, right? And. Um, only found one Mustang Mach, Mach 1. Nice colors on it. And the Bugatti. The Bugatti, I guess, is the most sought after Hot Wheel everybody's trying to go after. It's a nice pearl white. Can't really tell based on the video. Uh, it's a nice pearl white um, color to it. White interior, kind of a tinted blue window. I want this thing focused. Come on. And this camera's from 2007, just as old as these Hot Wheels. So, so let's uh, open up and see what's inside this mystery mystery card here. Sorry, I put this down. Don't want me to be shaky. All right, let's see if I get a good one, hopefully. Keep looking at the back, because they'll say, if it says copyright, VW, there's a chance possibly there's a other VW in there. Oh shoot, I think I waited too long. Gotta put some more. Try this one. Now, what color? There was a black and there's a white one. They don't make a metal on the bottom anymore, so when they go on the track, this car is definitely one of the champion racers. So uh, I do racing at events and I win quite often with this car with the metal box. Uh, let's go ahead. Got more to go. Let's see what's in the. Uh, more nail polish to open up the next one. 
You know, I need to start going live. I I always forget I can go live on uh, uh, YouTube. And so the next Hot Wheel race, I will go live at the big races. I had a, a lot of kids show up. Those were 500 kids just last Sunday. Man, I'll tell you, I, I made good money doing a Hot Wheel event. And, you know, usually uh, doing weddings, I made the same amount of money that I that, that I would do at a wedding. I made more money that, doing the Hot Wheel races in four hours. I'm talking about in four hours that I would have made doing an event um, or filming an event for eight hours. I was like, what? This is crazy. That's how crazy the kids were going over my track and how good in business I'm doing with that. So making a Hot Wheel video, I don't think it's very silly when it's making you some good money. You know what I'm saying? So just show you guys this old cars and see what's in the packages since they've been sitting for many years. I use the nail polish remover if you just tune in to see what cars are going to be revealed. I'm going to keep these two rare cars in, in on camera there. The Bugatti and Ferrari, the two most rarest ones. Oh, and we'll put the VW bug. There we go. Three. Three good ones. All right, let's see what's in this guy. Another one to open. You see that? Opens up without ripping it. I can always resell it if I wanted to, right? Oh, this one. Some of them come in baggies. Actually, you know what? This is the second one I got in a baggie. This is the only one that comes in the, in the bag. It's a real nice shiny chrome, shiny silver interior. Should be fast on the track because the bottom is metal. I'll find out at the next races, which will be the end of the month on Treasure Island, San Francisco. I always like that event because I make my money to pay my rent. <laughs> Here's another one to open. Let's see what's inside it. Come on, come on. Oh, sorry. It's like lottery. What's in there? I'm hoping it's a... Uh... Ooh, this is a Barracuda. Actually, I used to have this one from a long time ago. So it's black barracuda, but your barracuda is uh, they didn't even put the, the year. Usually they put the year of the car on there. I'm guessing it's uh, 70 or 71. All right, more to go, more to go. Yeah, a lot of people keep asking me, when are you going to make a new Hot Wheel video? Because, you know, my video got over 200,000 views from when we went to the Design Center. This is before many people started making Hot Wheel videos. And we were kind of one of the first on top. We could, you know, it's like one of those woulda, coulda, shoulda, but, you know, I just got busy, caught up, and sometimes lazy or just don't even think about it, right? So it just popped in my mind right now. I'm like, hey. Why am I not on YouTube doing this? And I like it that this live because I am too lazy to make a video and edit it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, I was put on live. It makes it easier. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going through more and more cars. Let me see. I'm just hoping to get another pink one because I want to keep this one for myself, this one for myself, this one for myself. If I find a double, then I can sell the doubles. I'm guessing the value should be maybe five to seven dollars for each one. I don't know about the Bugatti. I gotta re research. Actually, the Ferrari should be worth more because Hot Wheels Mattel no longer has a license with Mattel, so any Ferraris are out there already going up in price. I have a huge Ferrari collection boxed away. Those are the ones I never let go, especially any red Ferraris. I hold on to all my red Ferraris, especially. I got a Super Hunt Ferrari. Now, once again, I'm speaking to my Hot Wheel collectors, so that's, they understand my language. Anybody in here that doesn't understand Hot Wheel language, you're probably like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't feel like explaining all that unless you ask. If you ask me, I'll tell you. But we're not going to get into all that. Let's open up another one here. Stuff kind of stinks a little bit. Ooh, that one just slid right out. Hey, it's a red line. 
they did a red line mystery car. Never seen this one before. That's nice. Metal bottom. There's no windows on it. Have any of you Hot Wheel collectors seen this car? Be nice to customize it though. Give it some chrome. That should have been chrome. The engine should have been chrome. Interesting that it has no windshield. But the gas tank is metal. That's interesting. And it got red lines. That's going to be either a keeper or I'll probably sell it. Most likely I'll sell it because I'm not really into those cars. But kind of cool. Let's see the next one. Another double. I already got this one. Double or triple. So really, I got these cars for like 40 cents. I bought a I bought a guy's collection a few months about three months ago. And this one I don't like this one. I mean I like the car, I don't like the color. It's uh but I don't think I'll throw it back in the box because this color I actually do very well. Anything with purple and pink, all the little girls, they buy them like crazy when I'm doing the races. Cause actually I get 50-50 when I do my hot wheel races. I get a lot of little girls. Sometimes I get mostly girls racing, which is interesting. And if uh, you're wondering what I'm talking about, you can go to uh, my Facebook page. Uh, it's Boogie Racers. Facebook.com forward slash Boogie Racers. And you'll see my 50-foot track, what I'm talking about, what all the events that I do. Just got a few more left. This is all I have left. Man. I didn't do them all on camera because it would have took too long, but I'm doing the last of it on camera. And I still have not come across a, a duplicate of these guys, which I was hoping. Because uh, these three on resale would pay for all of them. So yeah, once again, I bought a guy's collection for like real cheap, 40 cents each. I bought like, I don't know, I spent like Four hundred dollars for nine hundred cars, or something like that. And I already sold most of those cars, so I already been making my money and making profit off those that collection. But this is the only part of that same collection I haven't been selling, selling because I've been waiting to take my time and sit down and see what's in the mystery cars. I didn't want to. Actually, what happened was I had sold one mystery car at my races. And the kid opened it, and I saw it was a really good car. I was like, what? That car was in a mystery? I said, oh, man, I just let it go for cheap. Because I think I sold for $3. And I was like, damn. So <laughs> I'm like, all right. I, I put all the rest away after that. And uh, I wanted to see what's inside of it. That's what I'm doing now. That way I can choose what I want. And then I can put the ones I don't like back in the box. That's why I'm using the nail polish in order to... Uh, Carefully open them up so I can reseal it later. Oops, see which car this is? Yes, a Bugatti. See, it's like lottery. Booyah! So now I can sell one. The first one is in better condition than this one. I can see by the paint. There's some weird markings on top, but yes. So I will find out how much this guy is worth. It's nice I got two Bugattis. I look at the package. Where that package is going? Package, uh, I guess anyone that says Maserati DC on the back, because each one has a different backing. That's how I've been guessing which a car could possibly be. You look at the who is it licensed by, you know you can possibly get one of these different cars. Every time I get one of these weird cars, it's going to be this package here. So it's either going to be one of these weird cars or it's going to possibly be a nice, cool Ford. Uh, I'm hoping to get another Mustang. Mustangs are another popular ones at my races. Or a Corvette. Wait a minute. Did it say GM on the back? Yeah, that's it. So that's a nice Corvette, actually. I actually like, always like this one with this uh, scoop right in there. This one's actually fast on the track. That's the good fast wheels. Wheels still real good. I only got one of those, so that will stay in my collection. Sometimes when I say in my collection, certain ones like this, I'll have people 
challenge me to pink slip race. So if they challenge me their car, they lose, I win their car. If I lose, they get my car. It's always fun. Sometimes the kids pick up on it. I try not to let the little ones pick up on it because then they start doing it. And then when they start going against their friends and they start crying, it's not a very good thing to see little kids cry because their other friend won their car and they were actually doing it for real, like racing for keeps for pink slips. Like, oh, you won my car and I have no car to race now. My mom won't give me no more money for another car. <laughs> It's kind of, I'm like, dang, I just, I'm, I'm becoming a bad influence. So usually I don't say nothing, but it's usually the adults that race at my events. And they're the ones that are saying pink slip, pink slip. And the little kids are picking up on the adults that are racing. Oh, two more cars left. This is it. Is this it? Out of all these I've opened, I have two left. And I'm hoping, I am hoping that, um, I get another Bugatti, Ferrari, or VW. Oh, no. I already see the back. That's it. It's the only three logos on the back, so it's definitely not going to be any of those cars. It's going to be, hopefully, a Corvette, T-Bird, or the um, Mustang is what I'm hoping. Two more left. Close this now because it smells. Let's see. through the glue, and it, how, how nice it comes up open, right, without ripping it. Who is it? Oh, that's good. Actually, it's good. I got a double red line, another red line. And I know for sure it wasn't a factory mistake missing a winch window. They purposely did that because they're both missing <laughs> the windshield. All right, here's the final car. We're going to find out what this is. What is it going to be? What is going to be the final car? Oh, fully. The boring Scion. But, you know, I haven't seen these in the shelves. I don't think they actually make the Scion. Boxy looking car, what they call it, Scion XB. I don't see these on the shelves anymore. Nice middle bottom. I got three of them total out of this whole set. So let's take a look at all the mystery cars that I've opened up. Here's my top cars right here in the front. I'm going to put all my, my favorites in the front. I really like this one in the paint paint scheme. Oh, this one's really nice. Sadly, only one. Um, this Ford Focus is nice. Kind of an interesting, nice matte black. Why this camera won't focus? Uh, what else was cool? Oh, you got the Barracuda. Only one Barracuda. Oh, this one's got a factory default, or it must have got crushed somehow, but the wheel is smashed in. Oh, wait. No, I fixed it. It's all good. Um, this one's cool. Only got one of these was in there. I like that design. It's, uh, it's not going to be a keeper. It's a nice design. Fish D and Chip D. I guess that might be a Hot Wheels design. Uh, only one of these. So this, not too crazy about this, but a uh, nice color. The red is really nice. Can't tell on the camera. I never seen this one before. Kind of interesting. Maybe I have. It's been so long. Oh wait, here's, here's another Corvette. So there's three different Corvettes in the, in the mystery set. There's this nice 2006, I mean 2003 red one. 2003, and then uh, I ended up with two Corvette Stingrays here. And uh, what else is a cool one out of this? This one I never seen before. It's only one of these metal bottom which is cool. I've never seen this car before. Interesting, right? I know it's a little blurry. And then um, two of these, these are Corvettes, all metal bottom. 
That's the original Stingray. Doesn't say what year it was. I don't. I'm not sure. Definitely before this design. So it must be 60s. It looks like a 60s design. Stingray. And there you have it. Oh, I ended up with two of these. This one's pretty cool. I like the, the paint design on this one. I don't know what you call this card. 2001, it came out originally. It's called a uh, Lancia Stratos. But there you have it. These are the mystery machines of 2006 or 2007. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start uploading some of my other videos because, like I said, I always forget about my YouTube. <laughs> and I got a lot of videos I haven't been posting. I'm always posting on Facebook. But those other videos I'm going to post are some roller skate dance videos and uh, my movie making creative stuff. I just been so caught up focusing, trying to keep up with my bills. It's very hard to focus and work on that stuff. We're like, hey, you don't post your videos no more, your creative stuff. I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to live life and make sure I can hold on to the place I live in. So I, I, I have so many ideas and want to be creative, but when you have to do so much to try to make sure you pay your rent and bills, it's, it's very difficult to focus. So... One of these days, I'll have that red dragon. I don't know how, but I'm going to get my movie, The B-Boy Connection, then I, I, we'll, we'll see. But in the meantime, I, I find every other opportunity to make some money. And Hot Wheels and, and uh, my other video gigs I do with my drone. I, once in a while, my drone videos pay my bills. But uh, that's, that's, what I've been up, that's what I've been up to. Anybody's been asking. Mo Craig has been playing with Hot Wheels, but he's getting his bills paid with him. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Peace out. Oh, wait. Is that you, Matt? How long you been on here watching? Is that you watching me? Are you still there? <laughs> you got a neon green Ford Fiesta? I don't know. They never made that one. You still there, Matt? Is that you watching? Um, yeah. How's Hawaii? Gonna have to, uh, you are there. Ah, you're there, Matt. Uh, <laughs> the 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 did the, the that stuff didn't affect you, did it? The um, volcano eruption that's happening on Hawaii. You guys all right over there? I've been playing this uh, uh, old guitar. They brought back the Atari with about 139 new games, Matt. <laughs> I tried to play it, and I played a couple games one time, and I'm like, I'm bored already. <laughs> I got bored so quick on that. Yard's Revenge is the only one I really like. Frogger was okay, but I got bored quick. Centipede, I got bored quick. I guess it's fun in an arcade and wasting quarters. That's good. I'm glad you're all right, Matt. May the force be with you, man. Check out this uh, uh, custom. I've been customizing my uh, Adat Walker. I still got to finish painting them. What do you think? He doesn't stand up too well. He's a pain in the butt trying to stay balanced. He'd be flopping over all the time. Then we got these guys here. Different scale sizes. All right. Yeah, man. All right, I'm going to head on out of here. That's the first time I went live on Face. Oh, no, Facebook. I mean, uh, on uh, YouTube. So this camera sucks. I'm going to have to switch, uh, grab my other webcam. thought it was good. It used to be good back in the day. All right. Peace out, man. I'll give you a call. How do, I, how do I stop it now? <laughs> how do I stop this thing? Oh, there it is. End stream. There we go. Peace out. 
Aloha. Yes, aloha. <laughs>